Hello everyone, this is Andre Knapp with Indie Arts Midwest, and today I will be showing you how to upload the T-Cup firmware to your Arduino Uno R3. Most tutorials are geared toward the bigger board, and the Uno R3 is all I have. In fact, I have two, so um, that was my only option, and I found that T-Cup was the best fit for my Arduino. So, um, once you've downloaded the necessary files, you're going to want to open it up. And on as a pre-note, I will say that make sure that you have whatever version of Python is needed to help run the uh, this the firmware software. So um, that being said, um, once you've opened up the main folder, it'll have another, I don't know why it's doubled in name, but that's just how it works. You go deeper into the same named folder and you'll find a config tool here. And if you do have the correct Python and everything running correctly, it should pop up with this here. All right, so in the config tool, when you first open it up, if you've never used it before, it's going to be blank and incredibly vague. So if you're on the wiki site and you're trying to read the install information from there, the information is vague. It says, uh, choose the printer that best fits yours or choose the board that best fits yours. And, uh, but if you've, if you're building your own board, then, you know, your information is going to be different. So for as far as the board information is concerned, what I did was I just uh, just loaded a board. Um, or at least from what I could find was the closest to mine, which is the CNC Shield version three. That's the closest to Arduino that there is. Um, and after I loaded it, I just saved it again as under the name that I wanted specific to mine. So that's why this here is unofficial Arduino Uno R3 because it wasn't already pre-installed along with the other boards. Um, so I just wanted to have you know my own name that I could relate to later on if I wanted to upload this again to another Arduino or alter the information for the current one that I have or that I've already uploaded it to, I should say. Um, same thing with the printer. Um, in terms of that, though, I will have a link in the description that leads to a forum that so that you can verify that the information is the same. But uh, the gentleman was also building a 3D printer with DVD drives, and he had all of these settings specifically for that. So I'm just going to run through all of these. Um, and then uh, you can just kind of pause the video if you like and copy all the information down. Ramping needs to be selected. Um, I think by default it says RepRap. I believe acceleration was set at 2000. He has it set for 1000. And you don't want any jerk for your z-axis. I don't believe I had to change anything on this screen, but if there is something different, then go ahead and set it. And now moving on to the board. My Arduino was already plugged in. And this was information was already there, so I didn't have to set anything for that. So I believe it, it should. I believe it just it found it. So that's a good thing. I was already messing around in uh, in uh, the IDE prior, so I'm pretty sure it picked up that information. As far as the pinouts go, everything is set exactly the way it should be for the Arduino R3. It has 13 pins, so there should be nothing. To change on here unless you have you know uh, you know anything else set up like this is probably why you need the mega board so you can add your SD card if you wanted to or add a, a screen if you wanted to as well or any other additional stuff you may need um, let's see here nothing was selected here nothing was changed here nothing was changed here and I have not messed around with any of this. The only thing that you want to be sure is that your baud rate is set correct. And mine was already set as it should. It uploaded just fine. So 
even with having all this stuff set up properly, that doesn't mean that you're ready for you to do your build and upload. You still need to go into here and set find the directory for your Arduino folder so that it can find that information. And you're gonna want to copy and paste that over into here. All I did was just go into a you know a folder inside of my Arduino folder and right clicked and pulled up properties and I just copy and paste. That's how I always do it, you know. Um, but if you can do it out of you know by just you know typing it up because you know that kind of information then you know by all means um, you know to each his own um, the next thing that you're gonna definitely want to have set um, I don't have uh, AVR do doesn't work on mine for some reason and it said that it might not work for all of the other machines but the moment I set this to Arduino um, it uploaded just fine so I had some hang-ups with my build because I didn't have this set for it to build through Arduino, as well as uh, it mainly couldn't build because it didn't know which port it was looking for because it had it set for dev. Uh, yeah, forward slash dev, forward slash something that wasn't uh, Windows because it was set for Linux. And uh, I had to find the correct com, which I already knew what it was, com6. And the moment you have this set and this set, then your build should be fine. It's when you need to upload that this here needs to be set properly. So if ABR dude works on your computer, then go ahead and ha just leave it as it is. I think it says STK something, but it didn't upload for mine. Um, but at the moment I set this to Arduino and clicked upload, everything worked in literally just a few seconds in, and then I was able to go to bed, which was great. I didn't have to sit in. And, or wake up a little later and see if it had finally uploaded to my uh, Arduino. So that is all the information that you need to successfully upload it. Like I said, uh, mainly once you have all your printer and board information, your, your, your main issue is going to be the modify settings. This has to be right, otherwise nothing will work. It will not upload, it will not build, and then you know you just you won't have a 3d printer and you know that's not the goal here so um, I hope this information was helpful to you um, I, the moment I figured out how to do this I you know a tutorial had to be made so hope this helps and uh, have a great day